Okay, so today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your ebook with KDP Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. So it's fairly straightforward, it's fairly simple, but I'm going to be walking you through exactly what you need to do. So first we're going to click Add Ebook. Um, and like most of what Amazon does, the user experience is fairly straightforward and simple, right? So I'm typing in the name of my book, it's, you know, the first things that they're asking. These are all fairly basic things that um, we've seen in the other setups that I've posted. So again, I'm putting in my details. I'm making sure it's matched up to the series. I'm putting in my information. Okay, and then again, I already have my description written, so I'm just going to copy and paste that because I've already edited it. I formatted it, so I will not have any typos in my description, which is something I've done before and it's very embarrassing. So make sure you're editing your descriptions just as much as you are editing your book. Now I'm going to put in my keywords, and even since I've put this in, I found some more keywords, and this is one of the things that I talk about in the book, is that you want to go in and optimize your description, you want to optimize your keywords regularly, um, so I will probably, after my 90-day alarm goes off, the book's been out for 90 days, I will go in and optimize this. When you do make any updates to your description or your keywords in Amazon, you do have to effectively, quote unquote, republish the book, um, which can be a little frustrating that it doesn't just let you update those few things, but um, I'll also show you in a later video how to go into Author Central and just edit the description. So here I am going through, I'm picking my categories. So the categories in this interface, you can pick two. Um, for those who wanna make sure you are getting added categories, you just have to email Amazon and ask to be added. So I'm going through. All right, I'm going through. I am picking my categories now. Really trying to make sure I'm drilling down correctly within the categories and subcategories. What I have noticed is that when I pick my category and subcategory, when I actually see what I rank for, sometimes it's an even more niche version within that subcategory um, based on some of the keywords. So it isn't 100%, but just know like you want to pick correctly here when you are picking these categories um, because you only get to pick two in this interface. It is an extra step to go and add more. Okay, and then I do that again to find my second category. Boom. Nice. So my books are for people who are writing a book and publishing it. For the most part, they are adults, um, and that is why I list it there as 18 and up. It's not because there's any naughty content in it. It is just because it is for adults, and I want to make sure there's no chance of getting a COPA violation by saying that this is for anybody younger than 18. All right, I'm setting my pre-order date, um, and KDP is going to email me incessantly up until that March 21st deadline, which I appreciate that they do. Um, I'm sure they have a lot of people who try to change it right down to the wire. My very first book, I was doing that. I got some nasty gram emails from Amazon. Do not change it up until the day you are publishing it. It should be set by the time you are putting it in for pre-order. Okay, so for DRM, I select yes. I know there's some debate on this and I'll probably do a video on this, but I wanna make sure I'm protecting my work um, and that it is protected as best as it can against piracy because that is probably the scariest thing to have to deal with. So I select yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and upload my manuscript. So uh, this is the 1997-2003 Word doc format for the ebook. It has already been formatted, it's in there. Um, okay, saved, yay. All right, and then I'm gonna upload the cover. So that way when I launch the previewer, I can go ahead and um, look at it all together. So there's my self-publishing for the first time author cover. All right, 
and then I'm going to launch the preview. Now this can take some time while it's still effectively uploading and saving everything, and it will give you this nice little status bar. Sometimes it'll say, maybe you should make a sandwich, um, which I usually know is time to go and make a sandwich or do something else. So I will wait patiently for this to show up because I don't want to rush through this step. This is very important. Okay, so here you can see that my book is ready to load. So it has married the cover with the rest of the book. And I'm actually going to go through page by page and look at every single page that's in here. I'm also double checking, hey, is that the right uh, ISBN that I put in there? Is that the right information? Because again, I'm doing two books. So I'm making sure I have everything in there that needs to be in there. Does anything look wonky? Does anything look off? with the spacing. This is where I'm really going through and giving it that critical eye. I, as a self-publisher, I am the publisher. I want to make sure that I am giving my approval on it. Now I am going to cut this portion so that way I'm not just literally giving the book away for free on the internet. Um, but I am going through page by page by page to make sure that this is correct, that everything looks right. Okay, so now I'm getting to the end of the book. I have clicked through every page. I have looked at each of them with my own two eyes and they look like they are supposed to look. So that's the thing with these conversions is it has to adjust based on the size of the different screens. So I have made sure that this passes my approval. My name is on it. My stamp of approval is on it. Um, so I'm going to go back to the book details because I am good with it. If at this point I saw something that was different, I would go and change it and upload a new file and go through that process all over again. So you want to make sure every time you're making a change, you are looking at it. Um, and again, this is why I like to have my um, other document open. I can just copy paste the ISBN. There's no chance that I am going to mess up how it should be typed in. I'm not going to put in the wrong number. Um, it is going to be accurate because once it's in there, you can't change it. Um, so you want to make sure that's accurate. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next page, and this is where I'm going to set the pricing and all of those details. So at this point, the book is uploaded, those details are in. Now it's just figuring out what I want to do. So here you can see KDP Select. Um, I do not go with KDP Select. My book is not exclusive. I, that means I have my book elsewhere. So I still sell it on Amazon. I still have it there, but I am not going to be taking part in any of the Kindle Select programs um, that are available to authors. I'm not going to be taking part in Kindle Select. Okay, and here I'm setting my pricing. I do look to see what it does cost in the other markets. Thankfully, Amazon automatically does the conversion for me, which is very nice. Um, other systems do not do that conversion, and it is a lot to try and figure out what is the current up to the minute dollar to other currency conversion rate. Okay, so here we go. We are going to say, all right, I am ready to publish this book. Now, Amazon will give me a notice right here. Okay, we are going to do a manual review of this. Should be ready for sale in 72 hours. Usually, it takes less than 24 hours, I've noticed. 